today we're going to look at animal planners. Okay, they're not really animal planners like for your pet. They're planners that all basically kind of look the same, but they have a theme on them, whereas they have an animal. So this is the puffin planner, which honestly, I don't even know what a puffin is. Um, this over here is the and a planner. I'll go through all of them um, in a minute, but we're going to take a look at all of them because I keep telling people you should have a planner with like a little animal theme on it. Um, and I don't know if people are taking my advice or they were already out there in the market, but they were. So I ordered all of them so that we could take a look inside and see what they're, what they're offering. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturday. Now this is a lot of planners, so I will flip through the pages as quickly as possible. This is the Puffin Planner. Now I will say I ordered all of these off Amazon and they were all prime, so next day delivery. Um, this was $14.99, it is the thinnest one. This is the Gazelle Planner, this was $19.28. This is the Whale Planner and this was $21.97. I don't know, it's called the Live Whale, I guess as opposed to a dead whale. I don't know what that means. Um, we have the Lion Planner and this was $21.95. We have the Panda Planner, this was the cheapest one and this is $9.97. And then finally, we have the Clever Fox versus the Dumb Fox at $34.99 and this one was special. It came like in this fancy box and it has a book inside. And so this one did cost more, but I think it's because the packaging was much more expensive. So let's just go ahead, take a look inside and then let's talk about whether or not you should still do an animal planner. All of these came from Amazon, so they are all shrink wrapped. So let's go in no particular order. Um, I'm gonna do the Panda Planner first. So crack this open. And this one actually had the least amount of options in terms of colors. I don't know if it's being discontinued. This is an undated daily planner. They did not have a 2020 available. So this is a 10% off card if you wanna use that code. And over here we have the Panda Planner Venture. So this is it's actually a pretty firm cover. You can't bend it. Uh, how to use this cover. And it looks like it's a quarterly. So vision, um, review previous quarters, top issues, planning this quarter, weekly roadmap, monthly. So we have an undated. This is really tiny. I don't know. I don't know why there's all this space for notes. Um, but it would be, in my mind, it would be difficult to write in. Uh, weekly. And it looks like it does just a rinse and repeat. So I think we might be done with this planner looking at it. Yeah, the rest of it is just that same page over and over again. Oh wait, we have something new here. Review last week, review last week. And then we have all of a sudden they're adding morning routine. So, oh, then we switch to dailies. Okay, so now we have the same page over and over and over again, the daily. So it looks like this, you have your morning grateful, excited, Focus, exercise, renewal, priorities, schedule, tasks, notes, evening review. So, I mean, looks pretty generic to me. Um, three ribbons, gray, white, and black. So that is your Panda Planner, and it does have a pocket folder here in the back, and it has a an elastic band. So let's move on to the whale. So this was the prettiest color that I saw online for the whale, so that's why I got it. And it looks the same. It has this nice wrap around, and it looks like we got some more coupons in here. So 20% off if you want to use that coupon. And it looks like you can, they're asking you to write a review. I think that's always a good idea actually to include in any planner and tips on how to make smart goals, which can we all just barf at the word smart goals? <laughs> all right. We have little corner protectors here that the other ones didn't have. This has a little bit of debossing. Um, I don't think, oh, actually the Panda Planner had some debossing on it as well. You can barely see it. Uh, maybe that's because it's gray. Same thing, this is a really hard cover. And this is the Live Whale Planner. So we have, this one actually has dates. So we have 
four years and 2019 is already done. i um, not sure when this was printed. Goals and lifestyle. Again, super small print, so hard to read and not a lot of space to write in, except for this page. Apparently there's a lot of space to write in on this page. Um, mind map, vision board. So not really exercises, just headers at the top. Uh, and then this is the monthly, so super generic, uh, no, no sort of framework at all. Um, so you got monthlies, and you got monthlies, and you got monthly. So this must be, I'm guessing it's a year. So we got monthly, monthlies, and we have like little quotes over here. And then now we finally move into the weeklies. So again, itty bitty, teeny tiny print, although I do like the vertical and the week starts on a Monday, it ends on a Sunday. Grateful, I don't know, hopefully you're not thankful for a lot because you don't have a lot of space to write it. Priorities, schedule, uh, goals and notes. Um, itty bitty spacing down here, days until goal date. Uh, so it wants you to work backwards and then habits. And they have little waves down here at the bottom. So it looks like this just rinse and repeats. For the whole planner until the end, you get to, there's a budget tracker, date, category, item, cost, total. Um, so that budget tracker repeats and then you get some blank pages. You get a pocket folder, just like in the last one. You have an elastic band. This one, you actually have a pace for a pen. The other one didn't. And you have three different colors over here. You had red, yellow, and white. This kind of reminds me of high school colors. Not my high school, I don't know, just any high school <laughs> would have those colors. So that's the wheel. Now let's take a look at the lion. Now this one is actually shrink wrapped where I need to use a pair of scissors. To get this one open. Oh, did I cut the elastic? No, I did not cut the elastic. All right, so it looks very similar to the others. They're all hard bound. I think that's just, it's, I think it's cheaper. Um, has the wraparound, I think that's nice. Uh, so this one has a monthly and daily and it's a six month, so it's a half year planner. And over here we have the D, like debossing over here. Um, and then we have the lion planner and personal information. 2019 is gone, not sure when this was printed. And here's 2020, now this is, I'm gonna say, weird uh we have they flipped it i guess they thought that would be cool counterintuitive i don't know how anyone could use this so the days of the week are on the left and the numbers i guess just kind of go this way the weeks are vertical um goal five-year goals goals for the year goals for the year physical personal family professional social others and they have spaces for each month so even though it says goals for the year i guess it means monthly goals for the year and over here, this looks very much like the Commit 30, the Undated. And over here, those same boxes that you saw all, all around over there. So I guess you could write it twice in theory. So we should get six monthlies. And then we should just go right into a week. So last week review, notes, top priorities, weekly plan, things to do. So it's, you know, going to just repeat over and over and over again. So this is the same page. Wait. I think it's the same page. And then all of a sudden we switch to schedule and task. So this must be a daily, you circle what day of the week it is. And then your schedule, which I guess goes till, I guess you can start at 1 a.m., go to midnight. I guess that's great if you work the midnight shift. Um, and then this repeats all the way through the end. So you get six months worth of dailies and then you get a couple notes pages. This one has a pocket folder this way instead of the other way. And we do get an elastic band. And we get uh, two ribbons, no, three ribbons. We get a blue, a white, and a black. So you can see those. All right, so that was the Lion Planner. And the reason I did all these together is because I don't think there's nothing special about these planners. I think these are the people that like making those zero content planners, um, which are basically just made in Microsoft Word. Um, just in my opinion, aesthetically unpleasing and uh, basically something, you know, I, I just don't like that these are being made in the market. All right, so Gazelle Planner, uh, same thing, a hard, actually this one's a little softer. Um, there's a little thank you. This one did not come with the coupon like the others. Uh, so if found, please return emergency information. And then over here, which is always funny. I don't know if anyone collapsed on the ground. I'd be like, let me look for their planner 
and see if there's an emergency contact information. Um, all right, the quick start guide. So this one has a little bit more direction than the others. Um, and they actually have examples, so I do appreciate that. Uh, notes, contents, vision board, monthly calendar, and weekly board. So this one just put the writing on the top instead of the bottom. This one looks a little brighter than the last one. Am I too high? I can't even see. Oops. So this over here, and then so we get these monthlies. And then we go right into, it looks like, dailies. So today is, so these are all generic. So same thing every page. I guess you, once you can track your sleep, how many projects, review vision board, review monthly calendar, work on projects that are most complete, uh, project one, project two. There's a small to-do list here at the bottom. Schedule, this one starts at 5 a.m. and assumes you're gonna stay up till 4 a.m., wow. All right, uh, water, food, exercise, declutter, notes to tomorrow self. And so this repeats, rinse and repeats the whole book until we get to the very end when it has projects, where it has steps, who, when, today's date, goal date, um, and then master list. Moving ideas from the brain to the list and basically just a spreadsheet looking thing. A couple dot grid pages file folder in the back and then just like all the others you get three ribbons you get a white a teal that matches the cover and a black um, and then you get a an elastic band all right so the last one is the clever fox and this was their deluxe version so I did pay like I think it was double for the deluxe version just to see if there was anything more special I'm guessing their regular Clever Fox one probably is the same, although Clever Fox did have the most variety, like the most, um, what am I trying to say, uh, options available to you. All right, welcome to the Clever Fox 13-Week Ultimate Achievers Planner. How it works, so you get a little booklet in here. Um, set your goals, mind your map, and I guess I can show you the first one. Yeah, just set your goals. Oh, smart goals, yes want to bar from every time I see those. Um, week, I mean, try to think of something original. Uh, weekly page, number one, number two, daily page, and daily page number two, dot grid pages, and what's next. So that is really nice. Um, over here, now we have some more thank yous, leave a review. Um, you can get a 60 day no hassle refund. Um, oh, and we have stickers. So this is a nice addition. The other ones did not have stickers. So these are nice rose gold, like little foiling stickers. Those are nice. We like those. And over here, we have some more stickers, so a bunch of stickers. All right, let's go ahead and open this planner. So this is a 13 week planner. 13. I wonder there I wonder if Clever Fox is not American because that is an unlucky number. <laughs> Usually it's just a 12 week. Uh okay, this feels really weird. It's like uh how can I describe it? It's like slimy. <laughs> I, that's the only way I can use to describe it. It feels slimy. Um, but there's no residue in my hands. And this is a little like foiling, I think for the red fox. Ooh, I love this. Love, love, love this. This says today. This one says week. And I bet this one, nope, this one says nothing. Um, but I like when people put words on the bottom of their uh, ribbons. All right. Made, designed in Europe. Crafted with care and time. Yeah, so this is not uh, made by an American, which I don't know. Is 13 unlucky in Europe? I'm not really sure. Okay, so define my goals. I like these icons. These are cute. So I would say out of all of these, Clever Fox actually is more original and actually put some effort into this. Um, so these pages repeat, rinse and repeat, same thing. And then we have your undated monthlies. And then we get your undated weeklies. So, and they've numbered them. I do like that. And your to-do list, your milestones, personal to-do, habit skills. Did I reach all my milestones? What were my three biggest wins? What made me happy? What did I learn? How do I feel about my progress? How will I make next week even better? So this rinse and repeats uh, for the whole thing. Oh, and here on this side, I shouldn't say it rinse and repeats. So we have week six. It was only a 13-week planner. So let's see what happens at 13. So at week 13... Then we move into a day one, week one. So then we move day four, week one. So then we go into a daily. 
Um, so I guess you would do, that's why you have these three ribbons. You would put the weekly over here for whatever week it is, like if it's week four, and then I would know that I need to go to week four inside of here, and inside of week four, oh, it doesn't say day one of week four, it just says day 22 overall. So that's kind of confusing. Um, who, I don't know, maybe you do need to know those dates. But anyways, so a weekly has mornings, morning review affirmation, grateful, excited about all those different areas, and work to do, personal to do, today's main goal, today's priorities, and schedule. Now this schedule starts at 5 a.m. and goes to 10. Today's wins, how I'll improve tomorrow. And then this just rinse and repeats all the way through to the very end. And like they said, they give you a few dot grid, empty dot grid pages, and then you get a file folder and you do get a pen holder. So that's it for the slimy feeling <laughs> notebook. But I do like the stickers. That was very cute. And I like this. So all out of all of them, I would say Clever Fox is definitely the winner. Oops, I almost forgot the Puffin Planner. <laughs> so I don't even know what a Puffin is, but it was right up there with the gazelle, the whale, all of those. I feel like everyone's just picking an animal and they're like, I'm going to make the cheetah planner and I'm going to make the alligator planner. Okay, so inside of the Puffin Planner, you have the wraparound just like everybody else did. Yeah, oops, I got some plastic still. And then you have the how to use this planner and little instructions and they're in color. And then we have uh, just your standard intro. And then I'm grateful for affirmations, mission statement, life balance, goals for the year. So this planner is just like the others, just incredibly unattractive and <laughs> really generic looking. Uh, so you have some undated monthlies. And then we move right into, I think this is weeklies. Okay, this week's priorities. And then we have a horizontal layout, which is probably, I don't wanna say the ugliest layout, but the horizontal layout is the easiest layout to make. And that's why people make that, because you can make this inside of Microsoft Word. Um, habits, and then a little space to mark them, life balance to-do list, what can I do better? And so this rinse and repeats for the rest of the whole book. And then you get a couple dot grid pages at the end. Uh, you have a pocket folder and, oh, this is a nice surprise. You do get some stickers right here. And then a thank you for your purchase and a 60 day money back guarantee. Oh, this looks very much like one of the other ones. So it looks like a lot of these are just made by the same company. Um, all right, and then you give a little folder or a little area for your pen, and you have three different ribbons down here, none of which matches the cover. You have a black, a teal, and a silver, and you have a elastic band. Now, this elastic band, I think because this thing is so skinny, this is the skinniest one, uh, this elastic band looks like it was made for something thicker. It's really, it's super, super loose. I don't know if you can see that, um, but let me just stack all of them up for you so you can see how thick they are. And then the clever box is inside that box. But yeah, they're all about, they're all varying sizes. And this one is definitely, that puffin is definitely the thinnest. So what did you think? <laughs> did you like these? I mean, let's just talk first in general, should you do an animal planner? A hundred percent, why not? It's cute, people like animals, especially the fluffy, furry kind, and there are still plenty of animals out there to claim, even though we have the gazelle, the lion, the whale, a lot of them have been taken. There's tons of animals out there. Um, also, the other thing is you could still use one of the ones that are taken and just add an adjective, like the whale has a live whale. I don't know that you'd want the dead whale planner, but this fox is the clever fox. You could have maybe the silver fox for people who are uh, maybe thinking about retirement. It could be like a retirement planner. You could have the um, red fox for like redheads maybe and hair care. You could have the uh, bodacious fox, maybe a dating planner, right? There are tons of different things you can do still with just one animal, even if someone has already taken 
one of those names already. Um, the other thing that all of these have in common, I'm not sure if you noticed, is they're all hardbound planners. And I think that's because these are easier to make on demand. They're less expensive than the coil and they are also easier to ship. So the thing with coils is if they are slightly bent out of place and it's so easy to bend a coil, people feel like they've been ripped off, right? Like no one wants a bent coil. The pages don't turn as well and it just kind of looks crappy. So the hardbound is much easier to ship. So just think something to think about and they're much easier to shrink wrap. Um, the other thing too is that they almost all have that embossed. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, in the front of the image so they really didn't have to create a graphic. They just kind of made a shape uh, The other thing is they all come in many colors So when you went to go order like let's just say the live whale It came in blue and green and yellow and all these like different colors So that seems to be the trend in what's being created now the actual contents inside I think a hundred percent don't matter all the contents inside of here were pretty ugly. They're pretty plain. You could have made them in Microsoft Word. There's nothing at all special about them. The only one who came close to having something cute was the Clever Fox with their icons, but the rest of them are just plain black and white. Again, really inexpensive. And I think that's how they're able to pre keep the prices on these so low. Um, so again, great industry, or I shouldn't say industry, great niche area of the planner industry to get into um, if creating a beautiful interior is not something that's important to you. Uh, because I think honestly, creating a beautiful interior with a lot of bells and whistles and features will be lost on people because uh, that's not why they're buying these planners. They just want something that looks has a cute cover on the front uh, and that's pretty much it. So that's it for animal planners. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking of creating your own animal planner? And again, I see this as like, if you create something beautiful, like say power sheets or something else, this could be like your lower tier offer, uh, or it could even be a separate company, totally just separate from your beautiful planner, because these are very, very different um, and they're easier to make. So yeah, if you would like to make your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free five day course, which is Planner 101. I will leave a link to that below and I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.